posted that video. I posted that video. I want to post another, uh, two other videos with the 13th son because he basically not real. I was listening to Joe Rogan um, a lot. Like I used to listen to a lot of comedy when I was in college. I'm a college dropout now, but I listened to a lot of comedy when I was in college because it kind of opened my mind up and then I started studying. I'm gonna let the plane fly over. I studied a lot of com uh, didn't really study I mean but I mean I listened to a lot of comedy um, so it was like a mixture between the comedy and the conspiracy that got me to where I am now uh, you know which is probably the place that you know I've, I, that is probably the happiest place I've been um, in my life I feel like something that wouldn't make me happy was or would be like a struggle I was in in my past like a struggle such as the one with drugs uh, or a struggle like being homeless I feel like I wouldn't be as happy but maybe I would have a not better head on my shoulders but I would value life a little bit more um, but yeah I really got like into uh, you know the, the comedy and um, of the 13th son and You know, I, I, uh, you know, I do believe that, uh, I can turn my life around, uh, through, through just making videos and stuff. Uh, well, so I don't really, I'm saying I don't really need to go into the outside world, so, that's one thing I'm kind of confused with, because I would listen to Taylor Budd a lot, and he was kind of pushing like anti-social media. Uh, Taylor Budd and um, Chelsea really like push like the anti-social media, but. I would personally want to just find better ways to to activate myself more spiritually so uh, yeah I mean that's kind of what I want to do just prepare for the next life people are so quick to judge and it happens in the real world or on YouTube too and I'm not saying YouTube's not the real world like if you spend you know almost all of your time watching YouTube like I do then it gets pretty real or it becomes pretty real you start seeing the people in their dreams I listen to the Rain Rider a lot too now I wanted to say that like Rain Rider Rain Rider gives me a lot of the Dream Rider is just always there for me, you know, no matter what. I feel like almost like everyone putting time into making videos is always pretty much there for me. Um, which is cool, but then at the same rate, or I could say like at any rate, 
I'm still being dependent, you know, on my cell phone and stuff, but it's just, I still have the knowledge, you know what I mean? I have a lot of knowledge to give. I have a lot of knowledge to give. I just feel like I'm not really the perfect person to be telling somebody about themselves, being a storyteller. I feel like that's some, it's somebody else's job. For now, because I want to change and where there's a will, there's a way, so, you know, like I would even like to vote, you know what I mean, just have a more positive outlook on life, like I went through a lot of, well, one particular rehab, which was for mental health. particular rehab which was for mental health and I'll just never forget they had a show like an open mic for people and I was too nervous too I don't I get I get too nervous when I'm on pharmaceuticals so I was on pharmaceuticals I didn't want to get on the mic and I don't really I only really had like one free verse uh old friend of mine who I'll probably talk about I had it memorized, but I didn't want to go up there and like say a memorized verse with a bunch of curse words in it. But it was all like the guy who was hosting it was like really cool. He was just saying how like there just needed to be like a lot more positivity um, in music and everything. And I do still feel like the Bible is like a little bit. Uh, the Bible is a little bit, you know stern when it comes to, you know, like, uh, Armageddon, or, like, what's supposed to, like, what, what the ending is, because, I mean, it's not, you know, like, I mean, it works with, like, movies, too, like, you go see a movie, you know, you want to see how it ends, like, I know, with the video, uh, like Self Lewis videos, or even in the Thirteen Sons or hier Hieroglyphic Communication, these guys talk about the Matrix. I'm trying to think, like I can't even remember how it ends. I know there's like sequels and everything, so it's kind of like there's not really an ending. But then I've seen like a snippet of it just being a documentary. Like someone said, someone posted a Twitter or a tweet saying the Matrix, it was supposed to be Keanu Reeves, but I don't think it was Keanu Reeves, but it was just like a Keanu Reeves parody account or something saying that the Matrix was a documentary, and it is kind of like a look into the mind, or the, not the mind, but the brain, so that's cool, I mean, but I don't know if your guys' chest does that, but my chest always, you know, pops. It makes that popping sound a lot. Really, ever since what I would call Kundalini rising, because I feel it all through. It's like I feel it through my spine, and I was taught that mostly through the Thirteen Sun that my spine, uh, like that's like the serpent the serpent and everything rising to like the brain and it's kind of like I feel like as a human we see like a whole we're pushed or we push ourselves to see consciousness or manifestation you know these spiritual terms that are real but we see them like from like a bird's eye view perspective meaning like we're the bird with the with the eye view and you know that 
just like kind of like living life, but we truly don't live our lives, you know, through like from from this above, you know what I mean? Like we really need to take care of our bodies, clean out our bodies. So I'm struggling right now with a lot. struggling with uh, just a just a lot smoking cigarettes eating chicken pornography like I just can't do anything illegal you know what I mean I can't smoke marijuana and to be honest 